Hello, this is the multilingual K Dog signing in. <coughs> I apologize, I'm wrong. Orangutan is not a solitary animal in general. Orangutan is a semi solitary animal. They're like the country human, country person. I just say, uh, the person lives in the countryside. The only difference is, I find, is Orangutans lives in less while humans live in build a cottage house cabin small houses out in the countryside like humans Orangutans do get together occasionally to get festivals and Orangutans do, do get visitors like humans on the holidays in the holidays for humans, we have best friends, first cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents comes and visit for Christmas, New, New Year's, Easter. For humans, but over time, same thing to, happens to Oregon too. The father, the father, its territory you overdubs the female's territory to provide enough food and resources for the off offspring like you Oregon's mom do most of the raising the offspring. If the Oregon's are full for solitary it they'll be like grizzly bears. As I get older, uh, one thing I know is grizzly bear is grizzly bear, bears are bears, tigers will be tigers, cats will be, or tigers will be cats, except for lions and cheetahs, lions and cheetahs are the social one. Let's take bears for example, bears are full solitary. They they don't like visitors. They, I mean, they 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 don't prefer visitors. They and they're not family and friend animal. When there's a adult bear comes enters the territory, when the grizzly bear gets the visitor, the grizzly bear usually fight off against another. Bear fight off with another bear to keep the bear out of their territory. The, it's not because the bears don't hate each other. It's because the nature does not build them that way. The bears are not made that way. The bears made to be solitary, unlike humans. And enjoy the video. Here's the video. Orangutans are often described as being a semi-solitary species. I'd like to quickly describe what that means because it can lead to a lot of confusion where some people see them as a solitary animal living by themselves or, you know, as basically a, um, a group of animals in a large area. The best analogy that I can give is country people, country people such as country Australians and country Americans and Canadians. Now, each one lives in their own family group um, on their own area and extract their nutrients um, from their farm um, or in the case of an orangutan, their forest territory. Now it's slightly different to humans, um, all orangutan mothers are single mothers because when you've got a large fruit eating machine such as a big male orangutan um, that is in your territory and he's not directly contributing to survival of the offspring because you have no natural predators, at least until man came along. He actually does the best thing he can do for his offspring is to leave the territory to maximize the food resources for his offspring being raised alone by the mother. But each of these mothers are on their own farm as it were, and they live in this extended community of related females. And just like um, country people, they love getting together at, at special occasions such as Easter and Christmas and New Year's. And they have a feast 
Similarly, orangutans have feasted at these fruiting trees um, which join the territories of the different groups where all the related orangutans get together and enjoy the fruit and the baby orangutans play with each other. But if your um, uncle, you know, who came and visited you for Christmas stayed in your house and kept bludgeoning on your refrigerator, you'll soon want to give him his marching orders. So similarly, orangutans enjoy a rich and diverse social community um, and that do come together on occasions. Um, but however, they require their relatives to go back to their territories after the festive season. Um, and this allows them to survive as a large body, large brain animal in the rainforest environment, but also maintain a rich, beautiful, diverse and meaningful social structure, which is important for the orangutan survival and communication of culture from generation to generation, but also makes for them as living persons in the rainforest, having a rich life as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel at Multilingual K Dog. And Multilingual K Dog is signing off. Stay awesome. <laughs>